malam ela Maria Rui pehe ke tonga mo bulanko to mo me mai ki he pol kalamare te o ko ya ai tonga world news me Seattle Washington ko a Brenda ko ngai ka pe pehe fo ki se o ko hoanga we ko Emily ne fa o mo new day o ma fa ho ko fa tonga ya tu i he fi afka fo o fo ko ni e fi afto pole lolo eni a ta ha no septema wa fe ma wa ta ha o ku malu mable le pe a fi afko ni pe mo e o ku faka o fo fo a pito just right he fi fi ni ai ke te ma fa ho ka tleva e ta ki por kalama lo tu i he fi fi ni ta te ta to ho ko Malo Emilini Taulotu Tamai van ko kima tolin ko fanau ma to puno hi fe fe fini o ata faftan fo malo ke afio o inga ko nga hita wilelei pe fo ki ke ofa da mo ho nga hita po ke tu hi fo mai ke tik ma to ko fanau e fe fini o fa fo ofa pito e ai natula pe ma o o to fe fia o pe ke o mai ha mate mi ha feitu Ia siok tahu kakai ia pot fonua kau ini. Maaf kau malu mau peta mai hewan ke ngah himana kau kefka hoko. Ia siok kau emau mau ui me ah ke ah. Ia lawa ke mau fepo talano aki. Ai lelei pe mengah tapua ke omai ke teng mau tolo. Ia fia fin ni pol kalamari tio kau amana ke mau fka hoko. Ia mau emau tala talano aki he ngah hinga wif katak mu a ai ho eik tangata. Ya pihefo ki pia mwe na u ngahi alasi a ngahi tale ni ti kehe kehe ihe na u mo ui ka oku pau pe ke vahe vahe mo ki na u toru o te ke a ki na u au siya. O ya ek ma kore he fia fini amna ke fka hoke por kalama he fia fini tu ma hapoto ilo pia mo hai malo ka hoko a ki ma por kalama ta po ke ke ngea u ko au prenta ko ngai ka Pepe ke Emily ne fa umuni day. Pepe ke ma toketa ko ya me tonga eiki. Aya ko toket Doctor Ray Abraham. Tapu ke ang ke ma toke ma fa hoko mo fata ke ngawin mo ko le ngai me ani wa fa alwa sis crazy. Amen. Oni.
So, but I think if you need a double gum if you need a man leadership, I have the Dow Kamata Bet Dow Dalla Dalla no head of any. Uh, it took me Kaumaya Doctor Ray, Kedado and I am Kagwe the topic of his company. A half on I had done at the Taki, Koha, the Mile Lay, Koya Gopreden. Can a man leader be a good father? <clears throat> so we're just gonna give it back to you, Brenda. Get the job, Doctor Ray. Hanging on Friday, I'm your Friday. I go at the eye. Keep it going. Ta ta, my Malo et au et au ma ou fi af koni pe malo apiri ke kaveinga lele koni oku oku fa fi fi ma pe ke ta fanongo ke he ke ngahi ke he ho e ki tanga ta kuna wa u ki he tumutumu e na nga we pe na ho ko pe ko 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 trota ta ki mo a e e emeline ta pe he pe ta pe ki tonga ta pe he Koya upi hata ke minista pe koha pe ko pe ko PM pe koha ta hape ta upi ko fu ekta pe koha he hata hape we find a leadership role. Are they always reflecting in our in our taki mua to be good fathers too, or? Thou see up a foggy here, young hunk of one, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, may me neglect my pay. I found now we are a kakai going in a kanga taki mua. Eh? They will now know for them now babysitter, but what now nanny? If I get a time, yeah, go young, I go a marry a for a cabin a coiny. Uh, can I don't forget that if you look at going to turn and you going to go to Dr. Ray, eh? I'm saying, pick it at a dollar, no, a picky. I go, baby, are we a Eline? The happy are we a Oku individually, individual uh, leader, Kabal Koy 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 male leader, Mahalo Koy. O fai nga ta ke te poke in ki he in a personal life ko e setting, he? Ang mantu fa aru ka fai ta me ka mi te a toi toi a te tu a fa ka si o si. Oh, I'm glad them te ka ke ta ta ke tu a ko ya, he? Oh, fa ka si o si. I don't know if you remember back in the days, Nai Casey Americani got the Hernandez brothers, eh? Yes, Hernandez. The two brothers. The two brothers, eh? Because you mentioned something very, very true. I don't very, very successful. Rich. They were rich couple. Yes, very rich. I have a entertain everything at home. But that was a horrific uh, case. And I don't yeah. want to bring it up. But only I, the reason only why I want to, I just remember that when you brought up when they for Ilave, when they were here, they were here. Elamana ke hoko e tangata taki koe ihe pre anga be koe be koe si asi oha pe ke kau pe pe kau kuta usi lo pe datoria agula ke pana e kau pe pe kau oku ma koe prison eh na pa he kono inga oku pa ke koe kana time ya pe pe kau ke elefana eh eh oku ila ya oku ya oku ya na manatu ya oku ya oku ya e oku pe pe kau ya kau ilo i eau but I'm not going to mention the name. If we go, 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 if we 
I am more a bit of an amplitude of the Hong Kong my topic for me, but I get a no guy. Have my inga a bit of a go to your about in a play a big role at the Maya e api. Eh, if I know, I have an absent at the Maya api, cover who be sticking away. Tak tahu kita pegang kaki kau dah dah mak lunga pada tak kipa dah wah yang ai tu wah ai kalau nak tu entertain ai kipa dah apa anga boleh ha kai 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 tu no no lebay ai kau tak kimu aku ini ke omai nak mui ke ofi kihe kihe otua eh pagi pagi kau mai dah nak nak bye bye mau kau he aku ai mak ini aku ini kau ini kau kau lah aku mau mau kau kau ai nak kau api อวัยเสียฟ้าหนาวแต่ก็แต่ก็แม่ก็บอกว่าคือคือเขาก็คิดได้ว่าคือคือภาพอาตุนี่เองเอาหมดวิภาพเรามาเรียนเอ๊ะ
how what's your message to to people like you that have no time for home right right it's gonna be a effect here, outcome and I as a positive thing, Now, when I forgot his last name. Nanabe, I let but it's not a, a it's not a, a like a backpack you go go regular kids so yeah. they have backpack here of of the train uh county at least um i tell my congressman but but keep on going my box here at but let me all the to pass here look at get my many many miles away and me me when you know look what got up here a office key 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 all what get them see but I do to go if you making him wanted to know more about how suspicious here. Yeah, like a mother I'm seeing four in the morning. I think there was I, I think there was no father at home, but at the same time I think the mom was so busy. But this little kid was so hungry for education. I got it out title hungry for education. And this he's not walking. He was already walking an hour. And another hour left for him to get to the school, right? Oh my god. Yeah, then I then the hell or yeah, yes, or Abby. But but the thing is the point of what coming down to us of where the one hour I met because we're absent from home. Eh? The right, right. The mind, but, 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 eh? but this kid took it in a positive way. Yes. And now we are gonna take it in a positive way. But what for now? Yeah, they wanted to revenge the parent and be bad because they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, eh? Yes. was a positive, uh, uh, let's say, mindset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mindset. Yeah, of, and hungry for education. This kid was so hungry for education. He does everything in his little double uh, hundred mile. He can make sure he get to the education. I mean, I mean, walking already an hour and another hour left for him to walk uh, to school. Uh, that That's amazing for kids like that. But I'm grateful that they can go wife and give an hour. But there's yeah. a lot of, you know, guy. <clears throat> some might take it, you know, if it would be another kid, he might take it in a different way. He might gonna make something bad. So right. he may get back to the mom, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I I people I I Mm-hmm. But when a two parent is a five cow, what 
what what is your role? Well, there? ever for yeah. you. Yeah, but how no hinga que hay que te pacificar o dejo para te pacificar el tamay. But that's a message right there. If your kid is doing that, then you start realizing, uh, maybe I need to ask my wife. No for a goal, may five out, but to pick if I pick out, I have got on high if I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. For many, many years now, eh? But it's sad in a way, eh? It's sad in a way. But then, eh? Well, let me see. Sorry, go ahead, uh, Brenda, because uh, I'm trying to see. I think I got a message from Dr. Ray either he's coming in or. Oh, okay. Um, go ahead, Brenda, while I'm trying to send him the link. I think uh, I might have. Yo. Oh, far, 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 Pito, I bought a dollar. I have a finico, no, he now. Go ko me ama hu inga ke ke ma ma luta yanga e e e no foko e hono fa unga api ke fi afi fo ku ya ta mai me fa e me ki fa na u ke ta ro tu e fi afi be mo ma u pe me to ko ni ya fa fo office round the table eh ku ko me e na ku na ku very very uh Clear gay pam with fana. Oguna talanoa bit now dolua ihetai mini as they are older and have their own family. Eh? Oguna Oguna talanoa might be how life is so solid at home. Oguna ilo in our dolia go e teusiofi, time it in our tawaiki api. Eh? Yes. Okay, you after after the fact. Eh? Yes. Because love whatever it out all my to solidify, we solidify the home. Hi, Dr. Ray. Saipe, Saipe. Saipe, Saipe. Look like you had fun, so much fun today at the. Nagaro, oh. How about that? Dive, dive under the ocean. <laughs> um, in fact, I come in late because that's uh, part of the topic how to be a good father. Yes. And, <laughs> You know, you've been working, 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 and when mm. you have a chance holiday, take your wife, take your family, and just leave the home, leave the yes. mobile device, leave everything, leave Facebook, join <laughs> the kids, join yes. the nature. Yeah, we have a lot of fun, and uh, I have, I think I get a lot of vitamin D now in my body. Okay, okay. <laughs> that, that, you know what, that is so true, Dr. Ray, that Dr. Ray exercise what we talk about tonight, eh? He yeah, can be a yeah. doctor and still be a good father at home, eh? And yeah. and Sissy is so blessed to have you, Dr. Ray, yeah? I'm blessed too to have here in my life. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. Uh, welcome back, welcome back. It's a men leadership right now. We just start the conversation, but you know, now we're gonna give it back to you to share well, more well, with us on this. What the conversation you start? It's, it's being a good father with a twist. With a mm. twist. How can you be a good leader and, and be a good father also? Yeah, can you be a good leader and still be a good father? Eh? Yeah, yes. and then what, what we were talking about, because uh, we share some, some uh, uh, there was something happened back here in the United States of a uh, very horrific case, uh, two two sons, you know, because um, yeah. because uh, because the parent was so rich and they were so absent from home, 
uh, and this was a very, very hor horrific case back in the days in America, but that's what we start to talk about. And then we'll talk about some pastor's kids that end up in jails and stuff like that. But is it worth it to be in that position and then see your kids in this situation? Uh, so that's why we talk about can you be a good leader and can you be a leader and still be a good father, you know? So, but today for you, you took a time out today, time off today <laughs> from, from being a doctor and being busy work, 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 and take your family. And that is so important. And that's exactly what we were talking about earlier, you know? So. <clears throat> I, I tell you, I, I always like to start from the scratch. To be a good father, to be a good leader. What is the leader doing? He bring all the teamwork, sit together, and put one goal, and put the plan to achieve, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sir, to be a good father, I think you need to sit with your wife first, because to to breach the kids, to breach them in a good way, you have you and your wife sit together, have a plan for what you want to do with the family and with the kids too. Why I'm saying that? Because nowadays, the kids go to the father. The father said no. Then they go in, in the back of him, go to the mother, mm -hmm. and they ask the mother without her knowledge. Then the mother said, yes. Now it's a problem happening between the husband and the wife, and the kids will sit and laugh. So the first of all, they be sure when they ask. Did you ask your mom if he said yes, what your mom said? This, okay. I'm um, agree, even if I'm not agree, but I will say yes, okay? If they come to her, they ask your father, and if they said yes, and what your father said, he said one, two, three, okay. And then we can discuss between the father and the mother together what's going on. But we don't show the kids the conflict. Mm. The kids is so... And I think one of the biggest problem for the kids, everyone, the father have you and the mother have you. Yeah, that what? is that is so true. That is so true because uh, the conflict between the parents, uh, the kids will take on that one, right? So they wanted to be cited. And, and uh, <clears throat> they wanted to always cite it with the good parent, the one who give, give, give all the time, right? Eh? So, uh, and that is so right. So what Dr. Ray was bringing in here, so you in, as a leader at the office, you set goal and you, you uh, write out a plan of action. So you should apply that at home, huh? By sitting down with the CEO at home, <laughs> the wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and no, do a plan the of CEO, action. Eh? The, uh, the PM. The PM. <laughs> She's the prime minister of the house. Yes, the prime ministers <laughs> of the house. That is so true. You know, that is so true. Uh, that's interesting, Dr. Ray. Uh, your, your take on that one, Brenda. Absolutely. You know, uh, you can do both because you're a leader, you know. Right, right. And, and not all leaders uh, deserted the home or, or leave the home for somebody else to, you know, to take care of. No, I, I, I think that's absolutely right and true. Starting from scratch, you set up the plan mm -hmm. and, and to prevent conflict within the home, you bring your wife, you discuss with her what to do. You know, suppose there must be issues later on when they grow up to be 10, 11, 12, you know, when they start snapping back, you know. And, and I think at a very early age, right, mm -hmm. it's, it's really good to watch how they follow your footsteps, you know. When they don't see dad at home, they ask questions. And then when they share their little stories with their little friends at school, 
the little friend excited that their dad took him to the fair. The one with the absent parent says, well, I never get to see my dad. You know, the little one asked why. The little kid would say, he's never home. You know, and so that's the saddest thing a kid could say. And and I, I'm a grandma now, so I watch my grandkids like like a hawk, you know, ever before, you know, because I know raising my my boys and my my kids, and I see the outcome is just beautiful, you know. It, they make you happy and proud, but now these little kids, they're they're born with technology. My, I have a two-year-old. She goes, she come and take my phone and then she know how to open it. <laughs> then she swipe it. And then she start going into the games. She is two. Yeah. And, and, I, I and, tell you, I tell you, um, it's good to the kids to have a technology to understand. But in the meantime, in the meantime, I want to ask everyone, father and the mother, what is worse? Go there, be away from your kids. And then when the time you get older, your kids will not be with you because what come around, go around. And they will right. tell you, yeah. you will not be there when we are young. Now you ask us to be with you. How? This is this is a big question. In the Bible proverb, King Solomon said, one piece of bread with peace, much better than a table with feast. And peace. this is number two. Number three, you know, today, like when you have the holiday, you exercise with your kids because they have a lot of power, which is in fact, you will lose like you will do some, you, you, good, you, you will do good for yourself because you exercise too, okay? It doesn't matter. Come closer to your kid, play with them. Like today, I was teaching them self-defense. If someone put the knife on you, what you will do? This is, oh. I exercise with them, yeah. It's not like, yeah, we play, we jump in a boat, we swim, we have fun. But in the meantime, I use this time like to, to show them self-defense because nowadays the kids, they need to learn self-defense. Mm -hmm. The good thing, I'm a Kung Fu teacher. I'm a Kung Sibu. Fu, all right. Oh, Kung Fu. Oh, whoa. <laughs> right. All right. For me, yeah. for me, it's a good when, you know, that's make the kids trust you, come to you and ask you because you're close to them. Ah, oh, dad, I have this problem. Okay, come on. You know, um, when I'm in Australia, uh, my son um, in year one, there is uh, four kids jump on him and smack him. And he come home and cry. I said, come on. I, I got him um, a karate uh, suit mm -hmm. and I joined him the karate. And his teacher, the karate teacher, um, I told him, look, I'm a Kung Fu teacher, but I will join my son. I want to play with my son. Okay. It's, it's not matter how a professional I am. Okay. But it's good. I want my son to follow him. And for me, I put myself down. Okay. To be with my kid. We play karate. For me, I didn't play karate, but but you know, for Kung Fu, we are more acting, karate, just like, uh, but it's okay. You have to think positive. And then from this day, he know now how to defend himself. It's not like I'm, yes, I go and I, went, I put complaint in the school in Australia, but in the meantime, I use it for, for his benefit. And I join with him every day. We go together, come together. I finish my work fast and come home. And then I do exercise Kung Fu with him. When I have holiday or time, come on, I exercise. It's good for my body. You got it. So today, 
it's a good day. Even I took uh, CC, we jumped to the both to battle. And we talk a lot. I like, you know, one in a side and one on the other side, but we have to match the speed together. And this is in our life. The father can't go faster than the mother and the mother can go faster with the father. They all must be in same time. Otherwise the world will be circle. Yes. You know that will not go yes. straight. So a little thing like this, it's good. Why not? Cut, uh -huh. cut the technology, you know, Facebook, everything, cut it, cut it. In yes. my day, when, when I grow, there is no Facebook, there is no, you know, we always go to the street and we create our games. Yes, that's how we grow up Nothing in the island wrong. too. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. We create our own games. Mm, yeah. Yes, that's right. that, that makes the kids more creative. Than yeah. having the uh, technology, you know that's that is a very important uh, point that Dr. Ray brought up. And uh, it's, yes. it's you, you know, when you do the canoe rowing, you and the husband have to be in the same speed, right? Huh? So yeah. I I can be too fast, and my husband, you know, catching up. That we have to be in the same for parenting, huh? That is so yeah. important, you know. We have a camp out every year our church does and in this camp out uh place there's a big river in there so the swimming can be done there we can float we can we can whatever we do in the river that's fresh water but then on the other side there is a lagoon that's just fresh water too and and here I was so happy to get in this little canoe. It's kayaking almost. It is kayaking, right? And and try to to you know because I'm an island girl, I can I can really row and know how to do it, right? <laughs> so wrong. The first time I got in, the kayak went over <laughs> and flip over. They said I was. Uh, they said, I thought you know how to swim and 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 get out of, of the canoe. <laughs> you know? And I said, just get it out because I stood up and, and pushed the thing off from me because I was scared, you know. <laughs> so that the didn't help. Girl. Yeah, but the activity itself is, is for, for, for families and all throughout the year. If you want to go camp out as a as as how the the church congregation is a camp out of the family for the summer, but it's free for you all year round. If your family want to go there for Christmas, just reserve, and mm -hmm. you can go camp out anytime. But I don't want. I'm scared if the bears come down from the mountain. You know what I mean. Yes, I have all kinds of stuff to make sure I'm awake and I could hear the bears crossing the river. <laughs> no Dr. Ray, yeah. that's Brenda's experience for camping and, and kayaking. <laughs> but anyway, Dr. Ray, let's go back to you here and, and uh, go ahead, Dr. Ray. No, I, I tell you, I like what Brenda said. She was hearing the parents come from the other side. You know, mm -hmm. if you think you can do everything by yourself, then this is definitely wrong. Yes, <laughs> that's right. But you my question to you, Dr. Ray, my question to you. So now you're bringing the, the leadership, uh, let's say, role from the office, I mean, from your office to home to start out with the prime minister at home. But my question is to the point when you start being too busy to, and then start getting absent from home, how are you going to deal with that when it comes to like, you're gonna stay at the office having overtime and, and you know, you can, you know, get rid of the patients. You have to be there for them. And when you're going like days and days for just being at the office, 
because you have too many patients. How are you going to be dealing that and communicating that to your wife and the kids? Okay. You can ask Cece about this point, you know? <laughs> Every day I finish the clinic. Cece told me, I don't know from where you get this power. I go to them, show me what you have today in the school. What, where is your homework? Where, 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 where? Okay. I'm very strict with the study. Okay. Um, because when I was young, when I were young, sorry, um, I see my, a lot of kids, they play and I'm, I'm the only one sit and study. And I get concerned <laughs> one day to my dad and I said, look, my friends play. What I'm doing now? I already study. No, study more. And then my dad told me this word. You know, these kids, their parents, they never love them because they keep them playing. And I said, no, you're wrong. Their parents, they love him. That's why they all the kids happy and play. And he told me, when I die and when you grow up, you will have your certificate. You will understand what I'm talking about. Day after day. And now I see what he was talking about. I'm yeah. saving life. And the kids was in the street playing, some on the jail, some just finished the high school, some <laughs> didn't continue. And they all come to knock my door. You know? For help. And I, I now I confirm my dad was right when he said, when you have your certificate, and when I die, you will tell God bless your soul because you'll understand how much I love you and I'm, I'm very hard on, on the study for you. Mm. And that's what happened. And for me, uh, ministers or not minister, it, it, doesn't, um, it doesn't affect me. When I uh, met Sisi, uh, my father-in-law is not a minister yet, okay? And I don't know who, like, how is it? like uh, her family or her father. Uh, for me, I care about the woman I love. That's it, full stop. Um, they are my family. I deal with them, they deal with me as, my, as his own son, which is that I'm, I'm happy with. You know, life, life is so simple. Why you make it complicated? Like, because the election day, then a lot of people talk bad about us. This stop us to go and have fun because the end of the day we know ourselves we are very yeah. honest people yes. so we don't think for what the people said because the people said it's for me like a garbage the end of the yes. day i know myself and no mm -hmm. one can stop me and my wife and my family to be happy yes okay this number one number two one thing i learned from my dad and even from my work once I finish work and I close the clinic, that's it. I'm not thinking for anything now. I'm thinking for my life. How to enjoy, watch a movie or talk to the kids, look for their study, and that's it. I can't continue 24 hours thinking I will be sick. This is a mindset. You have like to stop, okay. swap, stop, swap, like, our life, like uh, a distance between this, uh, like this village to this village. After that, okay, what you already cut, why you think about it? You have to think for the future. So set your mind to give everything a time. When God even said in the proverb in the Old Testament, everything under the sky have a time. time. What does it mean? It's a time for work, time for me to eat and exercise, to enjoy uh, my family, time to sleep, you know? It's, if you give time to everything, you will enjoy your life. But if you live your life like, let us go and we'll see how, what will happen, no. No, that is a very bad journey. And these people, I'm telling you, day after day, the life they found themselves like 50, 60, 70, and they did nothing in their life. So give everything a time. 
and when the time finish that's it like you know in the exam if you they always tell us if you have four questions give each questions a time and when the time finish don't spend more jump to the other question and when you finish all the question go to the the one you're you missing one with. yeah yeah because this is smart way because a lot of students they still stuck in one question yes and then the time run the exam finish they fail because they they not smart um they stupid they already study but you yes. know sometimes <laughs> the answer is just like disappear from your brain don't right. take time to think for it just jump to the other point in this way you will answer all your exam and when mm -hmm. you have time go back and try to remember this point this we right. call it focusing right i never give i never give anything more than the time they deserve full stop yeah, yeah. it's true yeah i'm with you on that and even if i come back and still stuck i just i i simply don't care because i already covered what i covered you know what yeah. i mean you know that's that's what happened to me with my uh, life insurance uh, test. Uh, I, 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 the very first time I sat in there, <laughs> I, I started to get frustrated because when I look at the first question, I stuck in there. And then I said to myself, you know what? I need to take a little going. breath yeah. in and take a step back and think again. <laughs> so, and then I said, okay, I'm just going to go over the question that I really know right away. So, and then I just bookmark everything that I don't know, or it will come back. So that, that is so true because I experienced that. And that's why I took that life insurance uh, exam one time only, and I passed it because of that. Uh, I followed that guideline that you just said, Dr. Ray, and that is an exactly what happened, you know, so. Um, you know, another thing, it's like a tricky. <clears throat> Uh, when the kids go to the exam, and that's how the good father, he must tell the kids their experience, like the father and the yes. mother, they tell the yes. kids their experience. For me, you already study, so all the information here on the brain, right. it will never go away. But what happened before you go to the exam, one of your friends or you hear someone ask someone question, ah, this, this, this point, it's very important. You need to focus in. So all your brain go to this point, okay? And what happened? Because he said, oh, it's very important. Even if you know the answer, you know, you find yourself like read and repeat, repeat, repeat. You go to the exam focusing in this point. Right. With your bad luck, if this point, it's not there. <laughs> right, Forget right. about it because... That's what happened when people study before the exam, before the right. exam, before the exam, and even before they even go inside the class. I saw a lot of people with the, a lot of kids with the paper, and this is stress, stress the brain. You yeah, know what right. my dad did with me? On the high school, the day before the exam, I was sitting there, I already finished the whole year maybe in January or February and the whole year I'm waiting for the final exam. And the night before he came to me, what are you doing? I'm studying. What for? You already study enough. Come. He took me to the cinema and get me an ice cream and popcorn and watch the movie. And I said, dad, what are you doing? It's, it's a high school, you know, it's a fine, it's year 12. Can you imagine? <laughs> year 12, and that's the night before the exam. All and right. he did that to me. And he said, you know, you've been the whole year study hard. To go to exam and kick the exam, you need to empty the stress here. And that's what he did. Took me to the cinema. This is my experience with my dad, you know. <laughs> and... Oh my gosh. And after I finish, my brain is still on the, the day, the following day for the exam. <laughs> and he booked me for another movie. And 
Bell, and he booked me for the third movie. I watched three movies on the night before the year 12. But you know, I went home, all this relax. Yeah. I'm not even thinking for the exam. The following day, the exam start at nine. He wake me up at five. Come, <laughs> we pray. Yeah. We pray from five to 7.30. <laughs> two hours and a half and no. by then yesterday I lost yesterday he said no you actually if you study yesterday you will lose more but now all the information fresh here what you did now we pray for God because you tell God I did my best and you do the rest and this no. is my ability I want you to go to the school close your ear don't listen to anyone ask ask you one question because if you if you answer him you will lose your mind i want you to focus don't talk to your friend talk to your friend after the exam yeah and you know okay and before i go inside he told me this word you know if you fail this year don't worry i'm still love you because oh. i know that you did your best but yeah. if you didn't do your best, you will get the hell of me. But because <laughs> you did your best, don't worry if you fail. Yeah. Don't worry if you fail. There's another year. You know, this takes the pressure off me. Mm. That's you know so what he did to me? He took the pressure off me when I go to the, and it's year 12. Everyone going like, if you study 10, you wish, you wish to be like a study 100 times. Uh -huh. But he took the pressure from me. He said, it's just a year. But in, in my country, year 12, if you don't get a high mark, you will not go to the, like, in a, like um, a high university. Yeah. You know? it, it's but like, it's a, very, yeah. it's a very stress year. Yes. But he took the pressure of me with, in this work. He said, look, you did your best. We wake up in the morning, we pray already, everything in God's hand. And I'm telling you, if you fail, I am still love you and I still support you till death. Okay? Just go there and kick whatever you want. The exam should be three hours. I finish the exam on half an hour. Wow. Yeah. And then I've been sitting, repeat, repeat, and the older my friends and I saw them struggling and oh, but you know, because he took the pressure off me, took the pressure off and he emptied my stress. He took my stress. Can you imagine three movies the <laughs> night before year 12? <laughs> oh my gosh. I never opened one book. He told me, he told me if you sit and continue, continue, your brain need to be rest. Yeah. He told me, and and you know, I remember um, after half an hour when I left, he was the one stressed. I called him. <laughs> what happened? What happened? I said, Dad, I finished the exam. No, the exam three hours. How come you finish it in half an hour? Believe me, Dad, I finished. Even I asked for another uh, paper because I finished my paperwork. 16 pages like A4 like this, I finish it and I ask for external uh, paper. Can you imagine? And I, I got in this uh, one, I got uh, 98 over 100. Ooh. Wow. In half an hour. Mm. And he told me, see, because you doing fast. If you spend another 10 minutes, you will get 100 out of 100. <laughs> But, you know, the, the way I practice with my dad, it's actually, it's, it's come to my benefit. And yes. now I'm thinking, if I'm stress, 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 and even it will be hard to sleep the night before the exam, because I think all of you have been in year 12, yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah, so you can experience how you stress and even it's hard to sleep night time, which is when you wake in the morning, you already your brain not resting enough. And that because all the all the kids already studied, 
but because they stress and they not sleep enough before the night before the exam, they go to the exam, half of the information already gone. That's why you've been thinking, 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 thinking. Yeah. You know? And this is what I experienced from my good dad. That's how to be a good father. Take the stress and the pressure from your kids when they oh. go to the exam. That is powerful. That's correct. That is so powerful. What, if you don't mind, I, I wanted to ask you, what was your dad's career? Okay. My dad is a accounting manager. Mm -hmm. And my mom, she's a eye specialist. And he sounded like a very, very good father because look at the yeah. outcome, you know, and how he, how he, uh, his mindset. I'm just yeah. amazing with that. And that is so powerful what you just uh, share with us, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, take a that, Brenda. Cause, cause I, 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 I hope something. that other dads listen to, yes. to tonight because that is very powerful because I, I feel really warm when you said your dad uh, took you out. Come on, let's go to a movie just to take the pressure out. My dad doesn't take the pressure out from my head because he wants me to concentrate, right? But the good thing he does when he pray, Ray, he always bless me on the day that I have the exam, the very big exam, you know? He always give me mm. a blessing. And I thought you only get the blessing when you're sick, you know, but <laughs> I experienced, <laughs> experience. but you know, um, so now as I grew up, you know, mature, uh, being a mom and all that, I always go to him for, for those blessings when I, whenever I got something that stuck in my heart that I need to share with him. I go share with him. And then he will take me. And, you know, we don't go eat in a restaurant. We go drink wine. You know, my my dad loves wine. You know, he, mm. he, he knows I don't drink wine in my church, in my Mormon church, because my husband is Mormon. A Mormon, yeah. Yeah, but my dad, whenever we are in a in a in a in a big uh guy eat you know mm -hmm. someone always passed me a cup of wine on my table then i know then that it's from him you know and wine kind of relaxes you you know so I'm I'm uh, just amazed with how uh, you know your dad have all this understanding and how you know he helped you take the pressure out and like you said, Brenda, hoping we're gonna share this tonight and uh, hoping a lot of fathers will be listening into this one uh, when it comes to uh, uh, being a uh, can you be a leader and be a good father at the same time. Dr. Ray, because I know you talk about how your dad helped you with this, but did your dad spend more time with you? Uh, I know his profession, you just said that he was an accountant. And I know that's a busy job too at that profession. Did he take your time out from the busy schedule to spend a lot of time with you? Okay, in, in Egypt, we the holiday, uh, not the holiday, sorry, the weekend on Friday. Right. Or Friday after we finished the, the church, it's like Sunday. He took mm -hmm. me to the zoo. Um, we even, he was sitting and watching us playing um, soccer. But I enjoyed with him a lot. Yeah. I enjoyed with him a lot. And you know, um, once I start the first day in the premier, uh, in the high school, um, he came to me and he said, today, I will deal with you as my friend. <laughs> right after high school, friend. eh? Like he don't know you. <laughs> yeah, but I tell you. And, and for me, like, he said, from today, you are big enough. I will deal you with a big, like, you will be my friend. 
And because you are my son, you will be my best friend. And you know, since this day, yes, I'm telling you what he done with me. Some days come and he explained to me a problem in his work. And he want me to think with him. He want to get my opinion. And even, you know, I feel like he created this problem to, to tell me for cacao cow in the future. Okay, he want me to join him. And, you know, even when he start talk about this problem in the work and this, mm -hmm. it's make me start even tell him about my problem, you know? He never complain about my problem. He never put jokes on me, but he take it serious. And that's how the trust between me and my dad start. Oh, and he a trust that, relationship. Huh? That very yeah. first day in the premier school, in the high school. Even he told me, you know, if you have a gay friend, you want to go his hair out, tell me. But I don't want to hear from outside that you left the school and went to with your gay friend outside. Dad, I don't have gay friend. You will. You will. I'm telling you, you are in the high school. And, you know, even the day I don't want to go to the school, I told him, um, I knocked the door in the morning. Dad, I'm not going to the school today. Why? I'm uh, going outside with uh, my friends. Who's your friends? And he's been asking us. I said, okay, she's my gay friend. Did her parents know? Of course not. Okay, what happened if her parents watch you together on the street? What they will do for you? Okay, you put her in problem. And even, you know, I didn't think about this point. And then I said, okay, okay. But I listened to him. Then I told her, okay, we'll do it like uh, an hour weekend. We go outside. But even sometimes, you know, I told him, he never like, so no, he talked to me logic. He told me, okay, if you went, if you don't want to go to the school and the police stop you, I already know. So I will tell the police, he's my son and he told me and I give him permission. If the school give you a letter, I will tell the school, I already gave him permission. So for your side, nothing will happen to you. But what about here? If the school sent to her parents, or the police watching here because it's a school time, you know? He yeah. told me, if you love hair, you will never cause a problem to hair. Mm. So think of what you love. If you love someone, you never cause a problem. And I learned from him too, in this point. If I love someone, I will never cause problem to him. This is how I learn, you know? But the good thing, when he told me this day, from this day, you are my friend. And yeah. he come to me, I, you know, he was talking serious. But, you know, after I finished, he told me, you know, I always create problem because I want your brain to think because this is the real life, to open your mind and think, you know. This is the good father. Mm. Very oh, you good bet. father. Yes, yeah. You You're bet. so blessed to have your dad. And, and, that, and so grateful that you share this tonight, Dr. Ray. Yes. Because I'm pretty sure many fathers will be listening into tonight. Yes. And, uh, you know, and now we, you know, lay out a lot of things that a lot of fathers will be like uh, learning. Maybe for those who have been absent from home and don't have the time for your kids, now you can apply what you apply in the office does to apply it at home, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> Very interesting, Dr. Ray. Uh, yeah. If both of your parents I'm, are still live or, or they, they passed? Uh, my dad passed away um, with heart attack. Mm, and my that. mom, she is still alive. She's in Australia. Uh, yeah. Um, my dad passed away in my hand. Um, he was very good one. He told me one week before he passed away that he will die soon. 
And the day, um, Friday, he passed away Saturday. Friday, he took me to the cemetery and get the, the flower and everything, order everything. And he asked me, don't go to work on, on Friday. I want you to be with me in this day. And he gave me an envelope. He said, you open the envelope tomorrow. And you know, it doesn't matter if you have a medical degree or not. Uh, because for me, I believe that's his time. For me, um, it's very hard for me to lose my patient. So can you imagine my dad? First yeah. time he got heart attack, I was there. And I, I was thinking that I saved his life. Second yeah. time he got the heart attack, I was there and I saved his life. Third time. I took him, he was in the street, and uh, when the people called me, he gave uh, my number to the people on the bus stop to call, to call me and said, your father is sick. But he told me Friday, when you get a call that your father is sick, it means I already did. So when I get the phone call, I run to the bus stop. I do the CPR for him, it's not working. The ambulance come, I took him to first hospital. The defabla is not working. The other hospital, the third hospital. You know, even the electricity shut down. And we have wow. generator, each hospital have generator. And for me in Egypt, the electricity to be shut down in the hospital, it's maybe happened once in a million times. <laughs> and the generator is not working. And he just like opened his eye and gave me a smile and closed his eye again. Um, I was feeling like uh, in this day, I was cursed to have this happen in my hand. But now I feel like how I placed because my father is always my, uh, my best friend. And mm. the best friend loved to to close his eyes on my face. Yeah. There's a memory that you, yeah. yeah. I know yeah. you said your dad gave you an envelope. Did you open the envelope the next day? Yeah. We opened the envelope. First page, he sent his love and he explained uh, what he was doing for, for everyone, for me and for my sisters, for my brother, and what his uh, thought and what the good thing that he attached us on Jesus. Um, and he gave us the, the plan, what we, we want to do and how we come close to each other. And that's it, like his wheel. Yeah. He gave us the wheel. So he and knew this, that he's going to be know. going, eh? Yeah. 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 He knew it uh, prior, too, for, you know. And yeah. You know, for me, my dad is a very unique person. Yeah. And yes. I, just listening to you talking about your father, and he is, and, you know such a unique person you know um one day i did something wrong and he looked at me he never say anything but he said you know you break my heart and he turned oh my gosh you know if he slapped me in my face it will be for me easiest <laughs> way you know and, and that's it. Um, but at the end of the day, he was so proud of me. He's so yeah. proud of me and he's so proud of him. Um, he always take me to the church. You know, um, when the school start, that's it. He told me, you study. Even um, I was in, um, uh, I have, uh, I was nine years old. He have this uh, bank account, he open bank account to me since I born and every time he put whatever left over 
um, he divided for between me and my uh, sisters and my brother. And when I'm nine years old, he gave me the Christmas gift. And he told me, you know, till now he never gave me even five cents to put it in your account. But you know how to spend. Every time you know how to spend. You don't know how to save. <laughs> and I sit with this day with my friends. And my friends, they already, their fathers, tell them the same. But I discovered later that my father have a meeting with all my friends' parents and they put plan for us. That's why in this day, my dad talked to me and my friend dad, they, everyone, but my dad will organize the meeting with the parents of my friends. Oh. They have a cup of coffee together. And this day, I sit with all my friends Christmas day. I was so upset. My dad never talked to me like this. And everyone said yes. And me and me and me. But we are kids. We're not thinking that all parents, they have a meeting. Like a all coffee right. meeting. <laughs> so we decided in this day, everyone will put their Christmas money. And we open a small project for us. Uh -huh. And that's how we start. The time I finished the, the high school, I already have three farms. Wow. Yeah, and each one of my friends. But later on, when we finished the university, my dad told me, you remember this day? Yes. I have a meeting. I called for a meeting with all the friends' parents. We, and I told them we have to push our kids to think for their future because they are about to start the, the high school. So, mm -hmm. And that's what happened. And it worked for all of us. You know, um, sometimes it's good to the father to have even shared with other parents. At yeah. least to the other, he wants to know if I'm safe with their kids or what happened to them, you know? Yeah. And I, I think this is one of the main uh, problem now. If you let your kids and you don't know where they, like, their friends. Who they're hanging their, around. Who they're hanging out with, yes. That is a dangerous. That is a dangerous end yeah. up with my friends i have three lawyers and i have two engineering and me and one uh, pharmacist none of us was very low in in, uh, in the study or degree we all professional but that's what what my dad was planning to know mm. you know and, and this is one of the good things he done for me. Yeah. That's yeah. why you're so you're so successful. Dr. Ray, my question for you because uh, because your father did this to you and now you're in Tonga and you see a lot of lack in the father uh, responsibility for the island. Is there something that you can create a little group of uh, fathers, maybe, you know, start a uh, something like that, you know, to uh, share the information that you have and how your father brought you and look at where you are now. But is that something that is possible to be, you know, established in Tonga while you are there sharing the goodness that your father left with you? to the Tongans, because I know. I yeah. yeah. But, but, but my, what I wanted to say, Dr. Ray, because I remember when we were doing the, the health talk, you talk about the knowledge, the how important to have the knowledge. And you know, our platform is all about educational and, and teaching people, but you have so much uh, full of knowledge because your father handed down to you. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of lack of knowledge in Tonga with parenting and even being a good father. And yeah. would that be something possible to start a little foundation of like father figure or something like that to have this kind of sharing information? We are sharing this right now in our platform, but I'm pretty sure it all come down to Tonga. It's, it's something beautiful that I would love to see you share a lot of what you have uh, your dad brought you up with to the Tongan people, you know? 
I, I tell you, um, um, now I'm doing the proposal for the, the drugs for the rehab. Yes. Uh, and this will be part of the, the rehab for them. Right. Help yeah. to mindset. Um, when we study medicine, we study something called counselor. I'm not a counselor, okay? But we study counselor, how to sit with your patient and explain to them your body language. Um, but yeah, they, they need a counselor. It's not like uh, pasta in the church and talk. Uh, because nowadays people look to the churches, they just like they want your money. Yes. Every time you go to the church, <laughs> pay money and then the quarter, then the half year, that's then true. the one, that's true. then something else, then something else. And that's make many people run away from the church because they don't have yes. enough money to afford. You know, uh, this is number one. Number two, uh, this is a difference. Like when someone put his quarter or his yearly or whatever, uh, in my country, we not pronounce the name and how much he put. Yes. Okay. So at the end of the day, we collect this amount. It doesn't matter come from one person, from 1,000 person, but we never call this person put this amount of money. Because Jesus said, when, you, when your right hand put the left hand. Oh, no, should not know about it. Yeah. But I, I surprise here, you go and you put the money and they, they call your name and how much you put, you know. This is a culture here. Um, but, but for me, if I, if I don't have enough money, I, I will go just to put 100 and, and other people put thousands, you know. I will feel shame. Yeah. You know? So... It's putting pressure on people too, you know. And then uh, Brenda is a counselor, so that's her expertise. So, but that is so true. That's putting pressure on people. I will be ashamed too, because I don't want people to know how much I give. So. That's true. Yeah. Go ahead, Dr. Ray. I think her internet, his internet is down. Yeah, yeah, there okay, we go. There you go. You're back. Yeah. Um, just before we end our show, because it's almost seven. Yeah. Um, I want uh to say thanks to my wife, Cece. Uh, because without her, we, we will not have a beautiful day. And I really appreciate when she come and sit and play with us and um and this how it should be. I really am I'm, I'm happy that we spend the time out. And I'm, yeah. I'm really great here and her efforts to make the day success. So at the end of the day, I'm, I want to say thank you, Sissy, from my That's heart. That's right. Thank my you, Sissy. And hello, Sissy. Uh, yes. How fast is it you? And, yes. and you know, the prime even minister of the food, house, eh? you make me the cup of coffee so I can continue my day with you guys because she knows I'm very tired of the, uh, <laughs> the family. <laughs> Thank you, Sissy. <laughs> oh, side bit, side bit, Dr. Ray. Yeah, yeah. but as yeah. I said, to be a good father, yes. you need a good mother too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, everyone sit and put plan for your kids. Mm -hmm. and take them out if you know how to fish fishing teach them swim teach them how to defend themselves create mm -hmm. the story and let them involve in the story okay mm -hmm. make make even you know even when you create the story or problem and you bring all your kids and the old seat and fuck a cow cow that bring the family together because we have, <laughs> I love it. We have Facebook, we have TikTok, and a lot of things make the family separated from each other. But bring the kids, even create, create a story. Mm. Tell another people problem without mention name. Bring <laughs> the family to to think together. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm serious. We yeah, you're right. To bring the family together. I forgot. 
this the the main thing for me. You got it. You got it. I'm all there with you. This is beautiful. I enjoy it, Dr. Ray. Yeah. Hearing wow, yeah. it from you. Yes. I'm getting I, to I, know you more, Dr. Ray, because this is beautiful, you know. So yeah. It you it made me miss my family. dad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I tell you, I'm very complex easy person you can meet ever in your life. Because here I'm fakakaukau fast. I'm very like fast thinking, mm -hmm. but I'm always like in English, we say think twice, cut one. But here <laughs> I'm thinking like maybe 10 times and I cut one. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, but in the meantime, I'm very easy. Yeah. Always thinking in a logic here. Yeah. Yeah. When when someone told me something not logic, what I would do, it's not logic, so stopped. Maybe it's his logic. You know, I'm I'm always have this example. Uh, my dad told me this one. If the donkey think himself a tree, that's not his a problem because he's a donkey. But the problem for the people, they give him. The opportunity that he's a tree <laughs> you get the yeah. idea yeah, yeah. so don't, don't waste your time with this even with the people believe the donkey the tree because that's their brain i'm not wasting my time okay but i'm focusing focus that's very simple way yeah but i'm very complicated to take a decision because once i took the decision that's it i never come back on my decision because i already think 100 times before I took my decision. This is my life. You got it. Yeah. Oh. Woo. Hot, you hot know, evening. Yeah, you know, in America, they, you know, they always said to think outside the box, Dr. Ray. So it seems like you always think outside the box, huh? Yeah. yeah. My father, he always teach me this one. I have to take myself out of my problem and I think from outside. Mm. Yeah. Even, you know, uh, he did that to me. He put, uh, in my days, we have a blackboard, not a white board. And then we yeah, get the this stuff. Yeah, with the Gibson to, to write on the blackboard. Right. And, and when I was young, he told me, try to be a teacher for yourself. So when I go home to study, I teach myself on the blackboard. And that's why all the information here. If you ask me anything on, on primary school, high school, university, and my father taught me, he taught me this one. Every day, I write my diary. Yeah. And uh, the New Year Eve, I read the last year to know what I achieve. I have to put goal in the first year. And then I wrote my diary. If I have uh, any issue or anything, I re remind myself to not do it on the following year. So all <laughs> my life, I have this diary every day. Diary. I did one, two, three. I took decision this one. Um, I cut this person from my life because one, two, three. Uh, this person want to come back? No, because one, two, three. You know, I read every day, even my pray. I pray 15 minutes. I put it down. I pray 15 minutes. And I ask God, one, two, three. Because the last year, the, the last day on the year, I will see what I requested from God and what God achieved for me and what God not. Then I will ask God on the... <laughs> the new year oh, eve yeah. why you didn't achieve this one so i will continue pray for this otherwise i will forgot so there is a lot of things to write my diary Hello. wow yeah That's wow it's a, wow. This it's a wow it's a wow it's a wow time for us yeah and it's it's an aha moment for me yeah. right now <laughs> <laughs> to dr ray <laughs> 
You know, we're yeah. so blessed to have you, Dr. Ray. And I know your wife's so blessed I'm, to have you. And I'm so blessed to, to have you guys. I'm so blessed to, it's my honor to have Cece as my wife. Yes. And I, when we thank you so much for coming into the men's, I know because we started out with you, the men's leadership, and we thank you for your time. I know you have a, a vacation holiday today, but you're coming into tonight. We really appreciate that because yeah. you brought in so much uh, information that values to this program, you know, so, and that's our goal yeah. every, yeah. every week that we bring in values because yes. we know people, whatever people will take from here, hopefully there will be something that we're going to write on our next diary that people learn something from this program, you know? Yes. Yeah. We wish. We wish. Okay. <laughs> I will let you guys go. Yes, yes thank you so much. And have if, a good be night. Yeah. Before you go, I want to say one thing. Yeah. You know, my ex-husband wrote a book, Hearts of the Fathers. Heart of the Fathers, yeah. And he came out, I don't know if it's out yet, but he wrote the book and then did the travel with his granddaughter, Emeline. Mm. So I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I'll let you know when it's out. Maybe I will buy one and send it to you, Dr. Ray. I don't yeah. know what's in there, but that's yeah, what Yeah, I will read it. Definitely, I will read it, yes. Yes, definitely yes. we'll get a copy of that, Brenda, when it's coming out, so. Yes, yes. Malo, I'll be the Dr. Malo. Ray. Malo. Malo, hey, Fato. Oh, Fato. Enjoy your dinner. Saipi, Saipi. Saipi, Malo, eh? Saipi, Malo, eh? Saipi, Malo, eh? Okay. Oh, Fato, yeah. Fato. Take care, bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> such a beautiful night oh yes, my gosh my wife don't think I think if we pass it that the father also have a thing that he huh yeah get a key to dialogue they have key for him we need to be able to talk I said before I want to be the biggest I cannot really want to emphasize what he brought into us yeah you know, we didn't know he 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 was already conforming onto what how great fathers are, no matter what they do. Eh? Yes, yes. Uh, let me just take a that I break in my head for him. Let's see what's in our playlist tonight. Let me play one of this. I think I was so near to the book I came in for four hours. I know I'm going to be a royal mission. I should be out. The key is in a boy, the man.
ี้มาเลี้ยก็เกิดก็ตั้มาเกิดนี้ก็ตายอ่ะกับปูกว่าโซเดียอีเหออเคสตราก็เอสโซเดียเอะก็ตั้งเกิดนี้ได้พอตัวไอ้ก็ไอ้บางคอมพิวเตอร์เอสโซเดียได้พอตัวไอ้เป็นแบบบางเกิดนี้ไอ้โอเคสตราเป็นก็กาวเองกับปูกว่าเมมบี้พาวเวอร์ออเคสตราเอะไอ้นายกาวเขาคิดถึงนักศึกษาอเปตีอะอเปตีก็ยังไปเข้าไปเห็นพวกเขาก็ยังได้เข้าไปทำให้คิดในการเห็นตาคนที่ไอโอเคสตราไอสโตเดีย she was the only girl at the time yeah and that's beautiful เกิดเป็นตอนที่เมื่อคนก็เกิด bring in the other instruments เอ้เกิดตัวที่เราพัฒนาไอ้ you can tell เป็นเด็กไอ้ง่ายอินสตรูเมนต์ก็เนี่ยง่าย he that's why I love about it เห็นไอ้พวกพวกพวกเหตุปัจจุบันเป็นนี่เองตัวนี้ไหมเห็น Yes. เอ้ก็ก็พวกเกี่ยวกับเรื่องฮอนมาดาโกไอ้มุสิกาเอ้ Yes. Yes. แต่ในภาพโฟตุไอ้ก็ไปแบบว่ามุสิกาไปไอ้ไอ้โซเดียเอ้ But let's come back to Dr. Ray here. ภาพว่าภาพพี่เจอกับฟินเป็นตาดำเกล็ดแต่ we have tonight เอ้ยเอตาวตาลาตาลาโนเปียมวยตัวเฮตาไอ้ง่ายไม่อะไรไปไม่ไม่ฟุ่มเหวี่ยงเอาพี่เจอพี่เจอเออเยอะ Oh, I feel numb. In the share, the kanga I ko, I ko very real. The fakau kawat ispite. Right. Na nawlak civilize na to iha to ita hangi. Hey, hey, hey. Kako e kako kako e humble beginning with Doctor Ray. Right, right. Na oste te be ya he ne dead exactly. How he wants him to be, but I need coach him all the way through. Yes, yes. So I'm not being a good guy. Am I? Yeah. At present, I'm not a man. I'm a I'm a father. The life of the children. The life of father. Right, right. Now, in a in a busy as a professional, I'm gonna get take a lot of time off. But I'm not being a guy. I'm not going to be like any apply there or. When you are a uh, if you're in a corporate world, back okay, a politician, back okay, you have a minister, back okay, fight the government. Apply there or a whole calls for the people we set up for her office or apply it up. Eh? Yeah. I have the top of the for more dollar for her office or bring it to the house. Eh? Yes. Eh? The yes. At the, at the, at the, Bring in I I Mari. Yeah, this is a big big uh, a huge progress for me. I'm gonna share this with my husband. I tell you as soon as I'm yes. done with this, this is something that we need yes. to sit down and take a look at that. Eh? Okay, okay. Ilo Lini. Okay, okay. Ilo Oku 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 Ofi Alpito Ge Dad. Eh? Oh yeah. He he. I can't explain it. Kauke ilo e ang ko ni Framatara. I I toko ni ko na fai he ni dad. Ko awi na I'm I was under his shadow like that, he. Kana e discipline e awi he fonga hala e ang fa kau kau ko 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 fa wapi awi a it kind of set some. Distance, right there. Kako, same concept, eh? Right, right. Because same concept. Be he go oskoya pa ha of kamatala mai, eh? Why, eh? But fa fehu ipiawi at the most admis, you know, opposition fehu. You know why? Why would you? Why would you hit me? You know, like that, eh? Kagelo arve ulahi oku osia tuia. Kau yang ngaji mea lele kau nak to, aku aku kau yang ngaji mea kau nufah mata lah kau ray. Pakai pakai siapa nak si itang ye? Yes, yes. That was just so special. Iyo. Kau kau dah tu pita ke? Kau kau tu ni malah tu perintah. Saya kau di laut kau ya kau tu kita. Yes. Direct hand to take kau tu main dah yai. Tapi kau kau doa benda tu yai dia. Tapi kau 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 tu luh hangai kita ibu. 
Mana for a cow fail, eh? Yes, I would at the same time the pay, but Tango Tape was a turn out tidy, eh? Yes. Pagahega, go for a cow, but if I tempted at the Tanoki Mega, go for a cow, go on a tree hack out a master hell, eh? Eh. And an instruction to talk on a micro cook at the out. Go out here, but I'm pay of one at a higher of poker pay. Go on see kind of oh, yeah, we are. I will. Want to do almost everything to make sure but all that we are taking care of it. Can I fool? Oh, yeah, yeah, we are good. But to our friend, I come as I know, yeah. I was so calm, I was so like, okay, I'm just gonna do exactly what she asked me to do. Like, I can say how to pay how can you get to a tag, get Dr. Ray, get to a tag, get 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 a yeah. I was so like nervous that Dr. Ray Gelele of Bakaye as I take out, eh? Go, come as the hand, we are. Come, I got down, get what they will, I get ill or a doctor, eh? And I was follow that instruction, eh? But to a point, oh, I can allow for a year. But that got up here was said to her not dying. Eh? Yeah. But he said, but is like one in a million happening. Eh? Yeah. But That's very interesting, eh? Interesting. It can be my interpretation achievements for the year. That pass, eh? Kano hinga ko new things leva fogia ko new resolution niya. How ko he yo? One niya. But it's all about documentation, eh? All about documentation. Kaka siya ke outcome ko ni ko eh, Doctor Ray. Yes. Ko 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 come from the father, eh? Eh? Aya aya ko tao come back pa tao to ke ka kini a ka panongo ka pa ke ke panongo mai. But if you need, can can a, a man leader be a good father? I go if you need was for money in my head, okay? Yes. Like a gay couple, okay? Yeah, but good father. So now we know there's so many excuses that people will make, eh? Yes. I, I'm busy at work and blah, 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 eh? So now, also, I don't know what I'm talking about, if you need, but I get that excuse, yeah, okay? Oh, that you have to work a good father at home. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, you can still be a good father and you still can be a professional, eh? Yes. Mm. And a Isn't better a leader. Yes. <laughs> yes. Kai ke maha ko talava he? Ko talava ko tai pe he go. And I'm so glad, you know, for my lot ke moto ko na na mo. สิเมะไหมเนี่ยเมะไหมเป็นพี่นี่เป็นลาเวตตอกโปรแกรมให้ตัวพี่นี่แต่พอมาลงมาเกะฮัดแกดรเรย์ก็งาก็ไปมาให
subscribe my channel for paper came out rumble channel eh malo mo mea mo mea